In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Sony Bluetooth headphones to your Mac. Whether you're tuning in to your favorite tracks, diving into work meetings, or watching movies, pairing your Sony headphones with your Mac enhances your audio experience with outstanding sound quality. Let's dive right in and ensure you're all set up for the best listening experience. First off, you'll need to put your Sony headphones into pairing mode. This process can differ by model, so here's how you do it for a popular one. For the Sony WH-1000XM5 headphones, press and hold the power button for 7 seconds until the Bluetooth indicator begins to flash, signaling that pairing mode is active. Now click on the Apple menu in the top left corner of your Mac screen and select System Preferences. In the System Preferences window, find and click on Bluetooth. If Bluetooth isn't already enabled, click the Turn Bluetooth On button. Your Mac will start searching for nearby Bluetooth devices. Look for your Sony headphones in the list and click on their name. You may need to follow any on-screen prompts, possibly including entering a pass key, typically 4-0. Once paired, your headphones will show as connected in the Bluetooth settings. You're all set. To ensure your Mac plays audio through your Sony headphones, click the volume icon in the menu bar and choose your headphones. For additional sound settings, go back to System Preferences, select Sound, and then the Output tab to adjust volume and sound quality. If you run into issues, ensure your headphones are in pairing mode and try connecting again. Turn off and then back on the Bluetooth on your Mac, or consider restarting your Mac. Visit the official Sony support website for any firmware updates, which might help if there are compatibility issues. That's it for the video. You're all set with the knowledge to connect your Sony headphones to your Mac, whether you're setting them up for the first time or reconnecting. I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips. Have any questions or additional advice? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.